My name is Dylan Sisson, and at Pixar, I am the designer of the walking teapot. I work in the RenderMan group as a technical marketing specialist. Part of my job is writing like sometimes marketing materials like a brochure and I thought um, wouldn't it be more fun to like have a have a toy instead of a brochure and then put of our marketing material in like kind of propaganda. I looked at the kind of the, the Utah teapot and I thought well wouldn't it be kind of fun to put like legs on it and and have a walking mechanism. The teapot itself is the Utah teapot. It was modeled by uh, Martin Newell in 1974 through a command line system. So that was before they had modeling programs. So once they had the, the teapot, then they could uh, basically try out lots of shaders and stuff on it. It's part of every computer graphics program. Like in RenderMan, there's an RI teapot Easter egg primitive. So you can actually create a teapot in RenderMan just with a geometric primitive. So it's something everyone in computer graphics knows about, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to make it our mascot and put some legs on it and give it to people. This is a conference we make the teapot for, and then we take some extras and we'll take them to maybe SIGGRAPH Asia, or we'll take them to like maybe Annecy, France. This is the 10th anniversary of the walking teapot, so we've been making the teapot for, for about 10 years now, and I actually have the first teapot that we made in 2003 it was, was this little, little item. It was supposed to be brochure. I just emailed toy companies until I found one that would make and manufacture a teapot. It was kind of meant as a joke at first. And the, the first year we gave them out, people were like, what is this? But now, evidently, people like them. We hand out about 1,000 teapots a day at the conference. So that's about 3,000 over the course of the conference. Um, I'm always surprised at how long the line is. One year, the the line actually went outside the conference center, and so people were trying to get into the conference, and they're getting the SIGGRAPH line, and we had to correct that behavior. Part of the idea in uh, 2004, um, I had the idea of adding a certificate of authenticity uh, to each teapot, makes them individually numbered and uh, limited edition. I think that adds to their allure. My favorite teapot out of all of them, I, I particularly like the uh, the uh, teapot with the, the stereo glasses is a, is a good one that's silver and has the glasses. This one's a good one. And also every year we make a teapot for the show floor and then we make another teapot for a user group meeting. And this year our teapot for the users group meeting is a silver metallic uh, kind of teapot. So this, this, this is in reference to the conductor material in PR Man and the dielect or dielectric conductor material and dielectric material in PR Man. So there's some geekiness involved in, in creating the teapot, but I think the um, stereo one's my favorite.